In this video, I'm going to set up my time tracking system. Although this video is going to be focused on iOS and iPad OS, I've already done a video showing you how to do this on Android. You can find that video in the cards on the top right corner. Getting back to the topic, I want my time tracking system to be automated and with iOS 14 on my iPhone and my iPad, I think it can be done. Honestly, time tracking for me has proven to be very effective productivity technique. If setting up automations or time tracking sounds interesting to you, let's get started. I'm going to be using time track from BCGI as my time tracking application. It is a free application that is available on iOS, Android, and Mac OS. My reason for picking this application over something like Toggle is its native support for automation and its pricing. Almost all features in this application are available for free users. You can create as many activities as you want, you can have multiple timers running at once, you can add comments to your activity entries, and that's not all of it. It gets even better when you go to the reports page. You can review the track time as a list or as a pie chart. You can also export all of this data in a CSV file if you want to process it in a more complex application. When you first open this application, you will notice that you have some preset activities. We can customize these on the activities tab. Here you can add new activities with the plus icon on the top right or edit the existing ones to fit your needs. I have a bunch of activities already because I have set up a time tracking system on my Android device using this application and it syncs data between the two devices. You can add as many or as few activities as you would like. Now let's go to the settings tab and change a few things around. First you want to change the minimum duration of an activity to a minute. This is to avoid the need to delete any timers that you might have started by mistake. You should also enable the remind me option. I have found this to be useful for bringing me back to the task when I get distracted. It is also a good reminder to stop timers that you forgot to stop after finishing the task. Lastly, I want you to start and stop each of your activities at least once. This will donate the start and stop actions for each of your activities to the shortcuts app. And that will allow us to automate this app using shortcuts. So let's go to shortcuts and set up automations. For my automations, I want a driving timer that starts when I connect to my phone in my CarPlay. We can set it up easily by going to the Automations tab in the Shortcuts app. Here I will create a personal automation. I'm going to select CarPlay as my trigger and Connects as my condition. Now I can add the action to stop the timer which should be available to us under Apps and then Time Track. Hit Next and make sure Ask Before Running is turned off. Now let's create another automation that will stop the driving timer when CarPlay disconnects. This is going to be a little complicated because I wanted to also check my location and start my work timer if I'm within 0.5 miles of my work location. So let's start with another personal automation and select CarPlay as our trigger again. But this time we're going to select disconnect as a condition. The first action is going to stop the driving activity and that can be done using the stop activity action in time track. Next, we want to calculate the distance from our current location to work, which can be done using an action called Get Distance. Here, I'm going to select my work location and my personal location to calculate the distance. Next, we want an if condition to check if the calculated distance is less than 0.5 miles. Under the if condition action, add the action to start the work timer if the condition is true. You can leave the otherwise section blank Hit next and make sure ask before running is turned off. I think that's all for my driving timer. Now I want to create a shortcut that will set up my iPad for working on YouTube. I usually use my iPad as my writing device and I use Notion for planning and writing scripts on these videos. I can create a simple shortcut that will start the YouTube timer first and put my iPad in do not disturb mode to remove any distractions. The timer and do not disturb have direct actions that can be easily added to this shortcut. But I would like for this shortcut to also open Notion on the page where I keep a list of all my videos. In order to do that, I need the URL to that page. The URL can be found from the Notion app's share icon on that page. Now in this shortcut, 
I can add an open URLs action and paste my page URL here. This should automatically navigate to the desired page in the Notion application. I can also create an automation that will ask me if I'm using Notion to work on YouTube whenever I open Notion. To do that, let's navigate to the automations page in the shortcuts app and create a new personal automation. Let's select app as our trigger and open as our condition. Here I can start by asking if I'm working on YouTube with a menu action. I want the shortcut we just created to be executed automatically. If I answer no or choose not to answer, this automation should stop right here. I think that's a good start, but using the same structure, I can add more shortcuts based on other applications. I also want to point out that Time Track has a fairly decent widget that can be used to start and stop timers manually. I will leave a link to all my shortcuts in the description below so if you want to check them out. And if you like this video, you might also like these other videos where I talk about my most useful shortcuts. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Otherwise, thank you for watching. This is Geet.